Alright, uh, uh, welcome, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Maurice the Crochet Master. And today, uh, we are going to look on how to do the extended dreads. Uh, we have been doing this uh, ever since. And um, yeah, there's something I would like to share with you today because it is also very, very important. Yes, uh, we have been doing extended dreads from those previous videos that I've been uploading for you. So uh, here it is, I want to show you something very important that I have not been uh, 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 showing you uh, that, that is also part of uh, the extended red. So, as you can see, whenever we are doing the uh, extended reds, there's two, the, uh, the most things that we're supposed to be having. Yeah, that is uh, the molding gel. Though, for this time, I didn't tell you, uh, like, um, um, I forgot to tell you about the Akusa uh, conditioner, uh, the Kusa oil conditioner. So it's what I want to show you today so that you can see the importance of uh, the Kusa and how it works. And even the other tricks uh, the, that we have not been seeing in the other previous videos so uh, so that uh, we see it in this video in that uh, by the time we finish uh, i'm going to close the chapter of extended trade so uh, these were the last last uh, things that uh, you would want like that i, would, I wanted to let you know before uh, we close uh, uh, the chapter of extended it so if it's your first time uh, to be on this channel uh, you can also go and check out um, those previous videos that I've been uh, doing for the extended red uh, though I didn't uh, show you how to do uh, how to use it with uh, uh, the, the Kusa oil conditioner so I'm going to show you in this video and uh, we talked about on how uh, to space the spacing is still the same uh, the boxes uh, because we talked about on that whenever you're locking you have to leave uh, a half inch yes you shouldn't lock it too much to, uh, to reach on the skin since uh, you still have a space of putting uh, the extension so you should always lock it and leave that half inch yes we talked about that one and then uh, the other thing is those ones who didn't know uh, this uh, uh, oil uh, that I always use on the gel it is molding gel as you saw it on the on the other cover so uh, for this time around I want to show you the last steps that we missed in the previous videos because uh, they are also very very important they make the dreads to look more beautiful and I told you that it is always very important to listen uh, most of these words that I'll be telling you because um, yeah, uh, it, it is not good to look at what I do and then you don't listen to these words because most of the times uh, it is always good uh, to, to to combine the two. You watch while listening to the words so that they can also help you on most of other things that we always do. Uh, you can see here that whenever um, um, this uh, small, uh, the hair that has got a, a little volume, I try to lock it twice. Yes. Uh, locking it twice that is the uh, cross locking that I've been showing you but like this one if it has got uh, the bigger volume uh, you can even lock it uh, once 
you lock it once so like here in the middle let's say though i'm still cutting my line so i can't uh, just go this way i have to come back so that uh, i combine it anyway to those ones uh, who have been doing the boxes i know sometimes when you do boxes that those uh, times when you reach like in the middle of the hair in the middle and then your box like the arrangement of the boxes try to uh they 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 try to disturb you like uh, um, you you see you can you you find yourself you cannot do it the way you have been doing from down uh, but it is very simple um i think i would also would want to show you the video that when you reach in the middle and you find it is very hard for you to make more other boxes because it can get disorganized and people always lose focus when they reach in the middle you come from down doing your boxes very nicely but when you reach here in the middle so right now if i had continued it wouldn't have been okay with me so that's why i had to do it here uh, twice before i continue cutting so here i'm getting it very well so you can see how i'm trying to do it yes it's very very important uh, also to know that uh, because uh, uh, i think i would have to uh, do a video for you and the other ones still they're asking me on how to un unlock uh, these extended reds guys i'm still very sorry because uh, the people i played it they all still have their dreads so uh, by the time they will want to unplay them trust me i think we shall have to do it i will show you how to unlock them um, yet and yes it will be very good in that uh, at least you will see if someone has spent with the with these dreads a year how can she regain her hair like her hair won't they break yes yeah, so i'll unplay it showing you yeah how you can gain back your hair if you plated the extended dread so uh, this is how we keep on doing them you have seen how i've done the boxes here in that um there's still something uh, you'd also want to learn I think is to arrange these boxes because it is very hard it is very hard uh, times will come from down when, but when you reach here in the middle uh, the boxes get disorganized and some people uh, I think when they reach in that extent they do it their way yes but I'll try to show you how you can arrange them and they do good so uh, this time around as i promised we are going to show you i'm going to show you how to use the kusa and how uh, the kusa conditioner oil it helped me uh, on uh, the extended dreads like to make it more more neater and um, it leaves that shiny uh, that shining book uh, the one that I would want us to see you can see how my boxes are well arranged You see so like when you come from down it can be very fine But when you reach like there on top of your ear It starts getting disorganized. So I think I'll also still show you how you can do boxes to those ones They know and please uh, this is the hair that I always use uh, the kinky yeah, I make it short I, ma I make it soft uh, so that uh, even my excuse me even my uh, dread can be um, uh, very flexible so uh, I'm I think it's even if uh, I don't show you about the locking because we've been doing this and please if it's your first time you can still go on uh, this previous video because uh, in this video most important i would like to show you how to do uh, how to use it how to use the 
kuza so this we have been doing it in that when we're logging we just log up down up down that's how we keep on logging our address so that's how it is and i would like to first shout out to all my friends who have been with me ever since i started and up to now we are here thank you so much for the love yes and those ones who always uh watch my videos yes thank you so so much and please if it's your first time and those ones who are slow learners if you're a slow learner please you can also um uh, uh go in my comment section and you tell me maybe we can see how we can do it and uh, my and my um uh, i also i'm also called maurice the crochet master on my instagram and for the hair zipper is on instagram also hair zipper uh, instagram hair zipper facebook hair zipper twitter but my instagram personal account is maurice the crochet master yes you can follow me and we chat more yeah, those ones who are slow learners i don't know uh how we can do about it but uh what i would advise like whenever you watch something please try to do the practice yes you should always do the practice because it is very very important yeah you look at something then 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 you try to do the practice because it's what that makes us perfect every time so this is how we do our things and most of the things you've been seeing them that i'm not going to repeat again and shout out to all friend, all of our friends who are watching us in united kingdom and those who are in netherlands uh, germany uh united states of america united emirates south africa kenya nigeria yes thank you so so much i think now we are getting we are getting uh we are learning in fact we are learning because from all these videos that i've been uploading for you for the extended reads yes i know you have got something from them so uh, we shall keep on doing that and uh, if i get something that is new about them i'll have to provide it to you so like the way we uh, those ones who watched the other previous videos they didn't know that kuza uh, uh i've been using kuza uh, on some that i've been using kuza so uh, for today that's why i was like no way let me try to show you the let me try to show my people how they can also use kuza to help the red to get shiny and then there's some other trick that you didn't see that i'm going to be showing you right here so uh when we finish with our thing uh these are my people that i always work with because dreads at times it takes time but when we are like two or three it just takes like four hours but when i'm alone it can take like six to seven hours or even eight uh, depending on the height of uh, the dread so yeah uh, this she's applying the uh the kuza condition and this is how uh, we apply it so when you apply it you see how the, the dread is flexible very flexible so you try to apply it this way so that uh yeah it gets that shiny and then uh, since this kuza it has got the beeswax yeah it will also make um my dread to be firm yes it will be firm and uh, the more it grows it start like it start it gets that it gets the look it start looks look uh, it gets that look of natural dread when it grows so uh, i've been not i like i didn't uh, show show you this in the other previous videos but uh, uh when you're done with that 
you take someone in the dryer yeah for like um, uh, three minutes yes for th three minutes just the normal uh, heat you understand so that one's i think we have not been seeing that but it's very very important so when you're done with that that's when you can hold a power for your client it is very very nice to use that cruiser also so you should always try it out because it is very very nice so this is how we do the extended red with the cruiser and remember we didn't see how i always put them in the dryer so for now i sign out and my name is maurice the project master